All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm reviewing yet another beer from the Listerman Brewing Company, and they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their Cats Gonna Give It To You. No, it's not actually the name of it. This is actually XU Graphic Art Project, and this is a New England-style IPA that comes in at 6.3% alcohol by volume. No IBU is listed in the time of review. This can is approximately six weeks old. So the reason I'm laughing is because um, the whole XU Graphic Art Project is uh, Xavier Univers uh, University. They did a um, art project where the winners would uh, you know, have the winning label for this beer specifically. I, I don't know how many different labels there are. I saw, I'm pretty sure at least three, there could be five. And uh, yeah, the labels on this beer are all different. And the one I got is Cat's Gonna Give It To You. So obviously if you're a hip hop fan, you know the DMX song, X is Gonna Give It To You. So Cat's Gonna Give It To You. I really think this is an amazing label, honestly. This is fantastic. One of my favorite labels, uh, just for the pun, but also, I mean, you can't, you can't beat a cat here on the label. A DMX reference, yeah. So this is New England style IPA brewed with El Dorado, Simcoe, and Huel Melon. And yeah, huge shout out to my a buddy and viewer of the channel, Jeff, for hooking me up with this one. He actually hooked me up with a bunch of different beers recently. So I'll, in the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did. And I just wanna give a huge thanks to Jeff for hooking me up with all of those beers. Um, he hooked me up with two different Listerman beers. This is the second one that I'm reviewing. And uh, based on the label alone, it's an automatic five out of five. Except for it isn't. Let's crack it open. So, um, yeah, that's uh, looking, you know, somewhat, somewhat new in the style. Yeah, I mean, on, on camera, it's probably going to look super, uh, super murky and turbid. But uh, yeah, it has this honey orange color, a uh, half finger of an off white head, plays the role of new in the style. Let's get a nose on it. Why do I always inhale the beer? That's because I like to say, if you're not inhaling the beer, you're doing it wrong, and that's just an excuse. That's a cop-out. I just don't know what I'm doing when I'm smelling a beer. What the fuck? So a little bit over six weeks old. This is showing its age a little bit. Typically, it doesn't matter the style when it comes to IPA. It could be American IPA. It can be a um, New England style IPA, whatever. West Coast style IPA. This is uh, giving me those... Uh, Damn, I think I really did inhale the beer. Uh, this is giving me, like, I like to get, or I like to, I don't like to get, but I do like to get a little bit. Um, I get an orange marmalade character, and I'm kind of getting it here. There's like a toasted white bread with a little bit of zesty orange, a little bit of sweeter orange. I'm getting that on this. It's just, it's, you know, it's a, it's there. It's definitely, um, my buddy Jesse over at Bumpy Road Brewery, great channel, check him out, does homebrew and a bunch of other stuff. He says he also gets a slight tea note. Uh, like black tea note when uh, he has older IPAs. I'm also getting that a little bit here. I'm not saying this is, you know, super old. This is, you know, around six, six and a half weeks old. So you're talking, you know, still relatively fresh, but not overly fresh. But I'm definitely picking up um, some oxidation here, but also just, you know, just the hops falling off a little bit to my palate. Yeah, I mean, orange, grapefruit, a little bit of resinous pine, toasted, uh, toasted white bread, a little bit of caramel, Maybe a slight, like, cantaloupe vibe from the Huel Melon. A little bit of white peach in here, too. Like a, you know, not a super juicy, sweeter peach. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like, like I said, it's a little oxidized, a little, a little older. Nothing wrong with that, but let's see what it has to offer. Cheers, everybody. Taste is definitely a little better. Yeah, it's not, the taste doesn't have, the nose does not carry over. So I'm not getting orange marmalade on toasted white bread. I'm definitely getting sweeter orange, like a zesty orange, almost like a blood orange. A little bit of uh, ruby red grapefruit, sweeter grapefruit. That white peach is there. A little bit of cantaloupe. As it passes through the palate, uh, a little bit of like slightly resinous pine, but also like a grassiness is there as well. This is fruity, but not juicy. Finishes semi-dry. A slight bitterness, a little bit to the sweeter side of things. Uh, there's a predominant um, bready malt character that's underneath, I shouldn't say predominant. I should say there's an omnipresent uh, bready malt character that's underneath everything. It's there, uh, you know, adds to the sweetness, obviously from the malt, but um, just on the palate, you can kind of tell it's there. 
Body in this at 6.3, probably lower side of medium body. The mouthfeel, the mouthfeel here really isn't, for me, necessarily screaming New England style IPA. It's slightly soft, slightly uh, smooth, but there's more carbonation here that I anticipate from the style. Yeah, I mean, this is a solid New England style IPA, but it's skirting the lines between New England style IPA and like a regular American IPA to me. It doesn't have the body. Well, the body, it does have. The body's fine. The mouthfeel doesn't scream New England style IPA to me. The taste, there's nuances and hints of it, but this is more like an American IPA. Not New England style. Um, it's good. It's solid. I, you know, I say it's good. Usually when I say good, it's good. It gets at least a 3.75 out of 5. I don't think it's to that level. I think this is a decent and solid IPA. I can't call it New England style. I know it looks like one, but for me, it's really not coming off as one. Honestly, I hate to say this, but the best part about this beer is the fucking label. The labels, as the kids nowadays say, Fire! This label's fire. Um, it's amazing. It's a great pun. It's just, it's a cat. DMX. I mean, what else do you want? So on the label alone, that's a five out of five. The beer itself, I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. I always keep it one hundo, uh, as I always say. And uh, I'm going to give, X going to give it to you. Sorry. Cat's going to give it to you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to give XU, uh, what is it, art? Is it uh, XU art project? XU graphic art project from Listerman. <sighs> I'm gonna give it a low 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna go 3.4 out of five. I mean, I gotta, I gotta keep it honest with you guys. It's, it's a solid, decent beer. But when you say New England style, you're brewing with Eldorado, you're brewing with Simcoe, you're brewing with Hugh Mellon. It has a fucking awesome label on it. I just expect more from this one. I am disappointed by it, but at the same time. I'm so happy I got a chance to try it just on the fact that this label's awesome. You know what? This is such a low-rated beer for me personally. I usually don't keep the cans, but I think I'm going to keep the can. Probably put it behind me on the pretentious wall of bottles and can at some point. I don't know, but uh, I want to thank Jeff for sending this beer to me. Um, it's really cool to try uh, beers from breweries that I enjoy. Listerman, I've had, you know, this is the fourth beer I think I've had from them. All three, uh, or, or three of the four have been just really damn tasty. And this one kind of missed the mark for me personally. It happens. But, uh, you know, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Jeff, I want to know what you think about this one. I don't think I went back to see your untapped uh, check-in. If you, um, I'd imagine you checked this in. Uh, but, yeah, I'm slightly disappointed by this. Um, and that's not a slight to you or anything. I do appreciate you sending this one to me. But I got to keep it honest. And, you know, honesty is, is the thing when it comes to beer reviews. 3.4 out of 5. So, like I said, that was XU uh, Graphic Art Project from Listerman. 3.4 out of 5. If you guys had this one, let me know what you think about it. I'm slightly disappointed, but it's still a decent beer. So, appreciate everybody stopping by. Until next one, oh yeah, 6.3%. Yeah, it drinks like about a 6, 6.5% beer. That's just what it does. Anyway, cheers.